Hi everyone, it's Vivi here and today I'm gonna talk about my most recommended fall fragrances. I really hope you will enjoy this video and if you like watching content on skincare, fragrance and beauty, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. With that said, let's get into it. As soon as fall starts closing in, I notice that I just want to stay in more, uh, have warm drinks, wear cozy outfits. So just overall looking for like a really comforting feeling. And I think that really shows in this um, fragrance roundup that I did for you guys. Um, so we're gonna have nine fragrances from my own personal collection and I'll be going through them from the most to the least expensive. So there's some order to it. And um, that's it. Please keep in mind that fragrance is super subjective. So what smells really good to me might smell horrifying to you. <laughs> but still, with that in mind, I hope I am able to inspire you to find your perfect fall perfume. So the first perfume will be Fleur de Peau by Titique. I only have a little sample to show you today because I haven't gotten around to buying a full size yet. They're a bit pricey, um, but to be honest, I do want to get a full size of this. Uh, I just feel like there's not a dupe for it anywhere. I've never like really smelled anything like it. It's very unique, very beautiful. Um, I'm gonna put the notes somewhere around the screen, wherever there is more space, so I'm guessing like here. Uh, just because I feel like you can search the notes anywhere, um, I'm gonna focus more on the feelings that you possibly have when you smell this, or at least, at least like give my description of it. I feel like that's more interesting and um, it's one of my favorite things about fragrance, it's just like the imagery that it can like bring when you smell it, I think that's like amazing. And this definitely brings like some feelings when you smell it. Um, it's a very soft, floral, powdery, musky scent, but it's not overpowering. It's a very close to the skin scent. Um, definitely something you would wear for yourself or maybe for someone you're very close with because this is not, um, it doesn't have a huge sillage okay so it will stay pretty close to you but I think it's part of the whole beauty of this specific fragrance um, some people who like this fragrance describe it as what they imagine a royal would smell like so it's very uh, composed but you know not it's fancy but it's not like out there you know what I mean other people also say that this reminds me, uh, reminds them, not me, I wouldn't know. <laughs> it reminds them of a baby smell. And I'm not sure about that one, but it is comforting. So maybe it comes from that. And the last description I saw, that one I really agree with, is that this smells like embracing the love of your life or the person who you're going to spend the rest of your life with. With that one, I can definitely agree. It's very, it almost smells like a hug, you know? It's like a very skin type scent. It's really nice. Um, yeah, so to me, this smells very clean. Uh, it has a very like lovely soft floral on it. It smells creamy, sweet, like almost vanillic, but not really. And then you have that little like muskiness to it, which makes it a really like nice and natural scent. To me, what this reminds me of, and I think I'm gonna ruin like the whole beautiful descriptions thing because I'm gonna I'm gonna be a dumbass. Um, it reminds me of you know how in Twilight they would say that vampires smelled really good um, so they would attract their prey. I think it was in Twilight, right? So this is what I imagine maybe a vampire would smell like in the best possible way. <laughs> I'm into it, I guess. <laughs> this lasts for a really long time. Um, I just apply like one spritz to my, I think I'm just like slowly <laughs> going somewhere. 
um, whenever I apply just one spritz to like each one of my wrists, it will last forever. Like I can apply it mid afternoon and I'll still, I'll still be able to smell it the next morning. So it is very long lasting, but as I said before, not a powerful sillage at all, but I love that. I don't really use a lot of perfume for others. Like sometimes I do, um, but I just like to feel comforted when I'm wearing a fragrance and I feel like this is comfort in a bottle, like it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't consider it a safe blind buy because it is quite unique and you do have to try it on your skin. I wouldn't recommend it just trying it on paper um, because it does work with your skin chemistry a lot. And yeah, definitely try it out. I do believe that Diptyque offers like a sample with um, every perfume you buy from them so you're able to like test it out first and if you don't like it you can still return the unopened bottle uh, so that's really good so definitely experience this fragrance and i mean if you like it i think you will have found a love for life because i'm absolutely addicted to this one i really love it but yeah this was fleur de peau by diptyque the next fragrance i have here is also by diptyque they're one of my favorite perfume brands, so of course I couldn't just mention one. Um, this is Tam Dao, and it's the perfect woody fall to winter fragrance. I think it identifies much more with fall, but it's definitely a cold weather type of scent for me. This is a very linear fragrance, so what you will first spray is what you will get through your whole scent experience with this one. People who like this have a very interesting description for it, which is it smells as if you were inside uh, of a Buddhist temple. And that really sparked my curiosity to get it. And it's true, when I first sprayed it, the first thing that came to my mind was this old dark wooden temple with some incense burning in the back and just an open door that, you know, has a little breeze from a forest nearby. Um, a dark like pine tree, resin, dirt type of forest, not a very like spring vibes one. It just smells very relaxing. Um, it's the type of scent you would like maybe to wear to bed or to focus on a certain task. It's very beautiful. It's not a safe blind buy, I would say, just because um, not because it's a polarizing scent, because I do believe almost anyone will enjoy a woody scent, but because you might not want to smell um, like a temple, I suppose. I'm not sure. For me, I kind of dig it. It's nice, but you might not like it. Some people also describe it as the smell that you feel when you put your head inside of an antique closet. And I do get that, but I feel like it gives much more than that. Um, it's a very unisex scent too, it's not masculine, it's not feminine, it's just straight up woody with a little zest from the ginger, lime and coriander notes. <clears throat> coriander notes. I feel like if I passed someone on the street that was wearing this, I would think they are a very interesting person and I would like to know more about them. Like they would give me smart and like calm vibes, I don't know. <laughs> I would like to know what they think about certain things in life just because it's a really interesting scent so if you want to give off those vibes when you go outside i mean go for this one um it has a moderate sillage so it's not a very intimate scent but it's not super projecting either um and basically it lasts all day if i spray it on my wrists mid-afternoon i will probably still be smelling this on the next day so it will only come out after i shower It's such a meditative scent. I don't know how, how else to describe it. Really beautiful. I do recommend trying this out as well, uh, at least for the experience, because it's such an interesting scent to me. But yeah, this was Tam Dao. Up next, we have a more modern version of a very well-known classic. This is Chanel number no. five, Lo. Uh, this was created to appeal to a younger generation that possibly could find the original number five a bit too old fashioned. Personally, I love the original number five too, but this is a much more wearable um, on the daily type of scent and I think it's perfect for fall too. 
um, it has a very, I love it, <laughs> it has a very uh, soapy, um, sort of vanillic type of scent, but in a very sophisticated way. And the citrus notes it has uh, give it gives it a like a really nice brightness and zest without being too much of a summer scent. I would see someone really sophisticated wearing this, someone who has their life like really well put together. <laughs> um, at least that's what I what I imagine when I smell this. Whenever I wear this specific fragrance, I feel like I just want to do good things for myself, like organize my my whole house and um, get a promotion at my job and just like do things that would be nice for me in the future. The vibe I get with this is like the feeling of someone asking you what do you want to be when you grow up and you imagine someone I guess like this very successful. <laughs> I really like it on me it develops to be a little bit powdery as well uh, which gives it more of that clean vibe because of the aldehyde notes and all that soapiness. It smells really, really good. Um, I'm not sure if it's a, a safe blind buy. I mean, if you like the Chanel Number no. 5 and the Chanel DNA and old-fashioned type of vibe perfumes, I think you will really, really love this for sure. It's like a lighter version of that. Um, if you don't, I would still advise you to try it because, as I said, it's lighter more airy crisp almost so it's easy to enjoy it um it will not be overpowering either when i spray it um on my wrists i might smell it maybe if i'm working on my computer at that distance but i won't be able to smell it much further than that and regarding the durability that is something that some people dislike about this one is that it doesn't last that long for me, it lasts maybe uh, around six hours, which for me is a good durability. I don't mind spraying again after six hours. It's a very beautiful scent. It smells really nice. Um, it's very girly to me. It feels like a very girly scent, uh, not very mature, even though it has the aldehydes in it and all that. But still, the Chanel DNA is here, so beware or enjoy that whichever way you you lean into it's really nice it feels really cozy too to smell this it has like um it has like a little cozy vibe to it too i don't know if it's the musk musk notes that make me feel that way or if it's the vanillas or what it is but i think all these perfumes that i'm talking about today are very comforting to smell this is one of them for sure so give it a try also look at the bottle isn't it so precious but yeah this is chanel number no. five look this next perfume will be nice if you are looking for something that is herbal but still sweet and delicate this is gucci memoir d'un odor and it's a beauty for me it's very nostalgic um to me it smells like a cup of tea a warm cup of chamomile tea with a lot of sugar in it it's really nice um some people describe this as what they picture a fairy would smell like and i can definitely see that and other people actually go as far as saying it's a fairy walking through an antique shop and i think that is like the best description um it has a very old type of vibe but not in the sense that it's old-fashioned more in the way as if you were walking in um in an old country house with wooden floors uh, that is filled with dried flowers and has a ton of books and a ton of little trinkets everywhere That type of uh, old scent. It's very nostalgic as I said before It's really nice um, It's a very polarizing scent uh, I think maybe due to the bitter almond note uh, some people really don't like how that translates on the skin very polarizing so take note of that and try it on your skin. It is a very, very, um, I guess it changes a lot depending on your skin. 
and yeah to me it turns into a very very sweet slightly herbal scent um it's a very unique type of smell it's not something you smell around a lot and it does smell like memories um i don't know how else to describe it i think that the name memoir d'une odeur is like the perfect name for it because it literally translates to memory of a scent for a designer fragrance definitely a great find um if you end up liking it you'll be very happy because you know it's not a niche fragrance it's not super duper duper expensive it is um a bit more on the expensive side of things um it's not a cheapy but it is a nice scent and if you like it you'll have this beautiful bottle on your vanity i think the bottle is super precious it has this retro vibe that i love and yeah this is Memoir de Nodo by Gucci. Up next, we have Melograno from Santa Maria Novella. Uh, if you don't know this Italian brand, I think you are in for a treat, especially if you like vintage vibe and old fashioned type of scents. They've been around for a very, very long time. Um, they actually made the perfume for uh, young Caterina de' Medici. So this is back in 1533. Um, when she was to marry the French king Henry II. Um, and that perfume is still available to purchase from uh, their store. Uh, it's called Acqua della Regina, which translates to Water of the Queen. So I thought that was a very interesting piece of information about the brand. They have the most beautiful things. Um, Melograno translates to pomegranate. However, this doesn't really smell like pomegranate to me. To me, it smells more like a very clean, very expensive, uh, but a bit, a bit like antique soap. But it's very, very nice. I love uh, spraying this. Um, it is more mature. It has a bit of that Chanel vibe, okay, with the aldehyde notes and stuff like that. But it smells really, really nice for me. It's one of my favorites and I can't wait to get a full bottle. It is an eau de cologne, so it will not be as powerful as a perfume maybe or an EDT, but it is still very lovely to wear. It has a very good performance for what it is. And I mean, for me, it's a joy to wear perfume, so I don't mind to reapply. And it also means that it won't be super, super projecting, um, which is something I don't really like personally on perfume. I picture someone very refined wearing this scent. Um, definitely someone more mature, um, very well dressed, perhaps uh, in that little um, Chanel tweed set, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, she just knows what she wants and she's straightforward, very successful. I like this scent, I really like it. And I find it comforting too, in a way, because it feels like it's either like you are that person or you're very close to that person and that type of person always makes you feel secure, you know, because she has your back. It's really nice. I will actually show you the full bottle of this brand because I do have a scent from them in a full size so you can see how gorgeous they are. This is another one of my favorites, but this is much more um, appropriate for spring and summer for me. But, you know, you can also wear it every day. This is Phrygia. The bottle is precious and, you know, it's to me, it's a piece of art. It's really worth displaying. And, um, uh, yeah. I don't know if I would say it's a safe blind buy because you might find it too old-fashioned. But if you are into it, go for it. Explore this brand because they are so worth it. Um, I find your scents to be simple but very well made. And they all have that special uniqueness to them of feeling um, as if you're smelling something from another time. But it doesn't smell stale or rancid or anything like that because they are fresh, they are made now, but they have that vibe. Very, very nice. Mm, it's just so relaxing. What else can be said about Melograno? They have a store in Italy uh florence if i'm not mistaken which is very beautiful i have never been but i wish i had 
um, and they sell worldwide uh, via their website, which is where I usually get the, their things. And yeah, I recommend their scents very, very much. Melograno specifically for fall. And that's it, Melograno from Santa Maria Novella. This one will be a treat for you if you are a tea lover like me. This is Earl Grey and Cucumber by Jo Malone. And it straight up smells like a very sugary Earl Grey tea. <laughs> that's it. I love Jo Malone fragrances. Uh, because they are delicate, they are there, but just for you, um, which is what I appreciate the most in a perfume. And they have very interesting combinations that I feel they are quite realistic. Um, Earl Grey is my favorite type of tea, so when I saw that this existed, I just had to get it, and yeah, it's, it's very realistic. Um, the cucumber note might be a bit off-putting to some people, to me, it gave it a certain aquaticness or crispiness that makes it, it, it makes it seem as if you're really smelling like some a liquid, a tea, you know what I mean? So when you first spray it, you really get that zest of like aquatic freshness from the cucumber and it slowly starts developing into a more sugary, creamy type of Earl Grey tea with a little bitterness to it which is just it's delicious to me it just it makes me crave tea <laughs> it's a very calming scent um, I find this very non-offensive very safe for everyday use to wear to the office all that you know it's not a um, an overpowering scent its sillage is moderate um, as most of my perfumes <laughs> are and its durability, it can last quite a long time. It depends on if I applied some lotion or not that day, because again, Jo Malone uh, sells colognes. It doesn't really, you know, it's never going to be as powerful as an EDT or a Parfum. So this is Earl Grey and Cucumber by Jo Malone. I have been using this next perfume since my high school days. So I can say that is the perfume that I have used the most in my lifetime. This is Burberry Weekend for women and they've recently changed the packaging and reformulated the scent. To me it's still very much like my beloved Weekend but to some people um, it was a big disappointment which I understand. It's always really really sad when they change up a fragrance you like but it still exists. It hasn't been discontinued, which makes me really happy because I think I would miss this so much. Um, this is a very classy, laid-back uh, scent. Some people describe it as sunshine in a bottle, but to me, this is just the perfect scent to wear on a rainy day. It just works so, so well on a rainy day and on a crisp, like fall day it's amazing it opens up very dewy and citrusy with like some nectarine note to it and it just smells it just smells like an impeccably dressed girl maybe she is wearing a burberry trench coat um and a little you know plate scarf and she's just running around town doing her little thing running some errands and her, ha her hair looks perfect, everything looks perfect, and this is what she smells like. To me, that is how it is. I've also seen some people come, um, what were they saying? Yeah, the, they were saying that Rachel Green from Friends would definitely wear this uh, fragrance, and I can totally see that, actually, so that is spot on. Um, and yeah, this has been around since 1997, but it doesn't smell dated or vintage or anything like that at all. It smells very fresh, very youthful, but very classy at the same time without being too formal. So if you like maybe something a bit brighter, more juicy, fruitier than um, the past recommendations, I think you would love, love, love this one. My favorite thing about this is how affordable it has become actually, because you can find this it's such a big discount like at most perfume websites right now 
Um, I usually buy uh, mine from the website Notino and I don't know, it's, it's ridiculously cheap actually, which makes me really happy because it means I can get this every single time and just continue to use it. I don't think I will ever like <laughs> stop using this perfume. It's really nice. The bottle uh, that they had before was prettier, I'll be honest, but this one is also nice and simple. Um, and yeah, this is Burberry Weekend for Women. This one will be for the gourmand lovers. Um, Bare Vanilla from Victoria's Secret. Yep, a body mist. Um, I'm not much of a Victoria's Secret body mist type of girl, but this one here, it just has my heart. Every time the weather starts getting colder, I will go and grab a full bottle to use up until the end of winter. It is just, as the name suggests, pure vanilla. It's bare, bare vanilla. They also write down cashmere as one of the notes, but I don't really feel that. Um, however, it is very high quality vanilla. It's lovely to smell. Mm, it smells really delicious. Um, it is of a decent sillage. Uh, I wouldn't say it fills up a room, but it's very noticeable for sure. Um, it's durability. It's a body mist. It lasts pretty long for a body mist, but still it is what it is. You cannot expect it to, you know, be super long lasting. Um, this is the fragrance that gets me the most compliments, surprisingly, uh, which is a bit ungrateful for my most expensive perfumes, but it is what it is. People love sweet smelling things and vanilla is like a crowd pleaser for sure. So if you want to find something affordable, sweet, just pure vanilla, this is it for sure. It will smell super comforting on the skin as well after some time when the alcohol has dissipated and it's just like that nice um, hint of vanilla that will stay after a while. I sprayed it a bit ago and it's really nice. It's just really delicious. People say this reminds them of the smell of sugary vanilla cookies, um, chocolate cake with a lot of chocolate mousse on top, or even creme brulee. So all things that make me really hungry. <laughs> but it's delicious and lovely and super affordable. So if you'd like to try it, this is Bare Vanilla from Victoria's Secret. And we've reached the last one on our list, but that doesn't make it any less good. This is Energetically New York by Zara and it is in collaboration with Jo Malone, not the brand, but the actual Jo Malone. This is a beautiful sandalwood type of fragrance. Um, its notes include cardamom, sandalwood and jasmine. So it is a pretty straight to the point scent. Um, it smells really nice. Some people compare this to Santal's, uh, Santal 33 from Le Labo. Um, I can definitely see the resemblance, but I find that Santal 33 is a little bit sharper um, and just stronger. I prefer this one. Energetically New York is a bit sweeter. Um, it's lighter too, so I just find it more wearable on the daily. It's also super affordable, so what's not to like about it? Um, I could picture anyone wearing this. That's what I like about it. It's very unisex. Um, it doesn't really have a label to it. It's just a nice sandalwood scent. If you like sandalwood, you will probably like this one too. Um, on my skin, it turns very sweet with time uh, due to the jasmine notes, I believe. So there is, you know, it's light, it's light to wear, but the incense vibes and the sandalwood vibes are still there, which I really, really love. It almost reminds me a bit of one of my favorite perfumes, uh, that is Loewe 001 for women. They're a bit similar. I'm not saying that they're a dupe or anything, but they have a bit of the same vibe, which is like sweet incense type of smell. I really love it. And yeah, for the price, you really can't beat it. Actually, this collection has some really good scents too. I have like three other favorites from this specific collection. Um, if you haven't tried anything from Zara yet, I highly recommend you to because they have amazing scents for a really good price. And most of them don't smell cheap at all. For the most part, you wouldn't be able to tell that this was purchased at Zara. You could just be wearing something 
nice and expensive while wearing this. Yeah, this was Energetically New York by Zav. And that was all of them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for staying until the end. I really, really appreciate your support. So if you like this video, please like it, comment your favorite fall fragrance, or let me know if you've tried any of the ones we talked about today. And if you want to see more of this, please subscribe. I'll be very happy. I'll see you next time. Ciao!